Hey guys, so today I'm doing my Frequently Asked Questions video and I actually already filmed it this morning and I'm having to come back on here again because I forgot to answer a couple of main questions. So um, the first one was, what is my height? And I am 5'9". And the other one was, what is my weight? And I am 123. I usually vary right around 120. Like I'm always between 120 and 125. Like it never really changes. Um, so, okay, I think that was it for those questions. Oh, and then um, there was, like, I get other questions like, um, hey, I requested you to do a certain look or a certain video. Why haven't you done it yet? Um, basically, those kind of things, it's like, um, I work full-time, and so I try to get all the videos in that I can. Um, I get a ton of requests, so I can't always do like every look, and sometimes it takes me a long time to get around to doing a certain video. So I hope that answers like those kind of questions as a whole. So okay, I'm going to switch to the other clip that I did this morning, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, so today I'm doing my Frequently Asked Questions video and I have a lot of information to go over, a lot of questions to answer, and I have basically most of you guys' questions listed down here in my phone, so I'm just going to jump right into it. The first and most frequently asked question ever is what kind of camera do I use? I use a Panasonic and the model number is HDC SDX1. Number two, how old are you? I'm 30, but my husband jokes and says I'm 15. Number three, what's your nationality? I am basically, I'm, I'm a mix, but I'm half Mexican and half German. And do you speak Spanish? Usually when people find out I'm half Mexican, they ask me if I speak Spanish. No, unfortunately, I don't. In fact, my husband speaks much better Spanish than I do, which is funny. How do you care for your nails? Okay, well, um, I basically, I don't do a whole lot. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm lucky just like my nail shape, I really don't do very much like when I file them. Oh, and I guess for filing, I only use crystal nail files. I don't use metal or like emery boards or anything else, just crystal glass nail files. So um, like filing the shape of my nails, all I do is I kind of like more of a squared off look and then I just, you know, I don't know, I file the edges just slightly. Um, as for care, you know, my nails aren't perfect. I do have like peeling that happens sometimes, um, which actually started ever since I used a buffer like once or twice a year ago. I've had problems with peeling ever since that. So I don't ever use buffers. Um, and I do try to like, like put some kind of moisturizer, keep them moisturized, you know, give them breaks from wearing nail polish. I don't wear nail polish all the time. Like a lot of times I'll sleep without any nail polish and I'll have like I don't know, like a body butter or vitamin E or coconut oil or something on my nails. How do you get glitter polish off? Because I wear a ton of glitter. Um, and so let's see, how I get it off? I use my Zoya 3-in-1 nail polish remover. In fact, you know what? Let me get it so you can see the product I'm talking about. Okay, I'm back. So I use this Zoya 3-in-1 Remove Plus, And this is the only nail polish remover that I'll ever use because I just feel like it's more gentle. Like, you can get glitter polish off fairly easily if you use 100% acetone, which is really harsh on your nails and your cuticles, so I don't do that. I just use this, and this seems to work fine for me. And then I just use regular old cotton pads, um, and my method is I just lay this like on the edge of my sink. I have my nail down one at a time, and... I just, you know, I get get plenty of nail polish remover. Like, don't skimp on it. You need to soak this guy here and just put that right on it. Let it soak in for a few seconds and then just start rubbing like in small circles. And I usually don't have a problem with getting glitter off. So, so that's all I do for that. Okay. Next is, where do you buy your Zoya nail polish? Uh, there's a little locally owned salon here called Maui Hair and Body, and that's where I go for all my OPI, China Glaze, and Zoya. Next question, will you ever go back to your natural hair color? Um, well, I'm 30 now. I've been highlighting my hair since I was 15, and I did actually go back to my natural hair color for a few years. And that was when I was like 20, like from 20 to 25, I had my natural hair color. So I've kind of already been there, done that, you know, I, 
I wasn't really happy with it going back to my natural hair color. It was okay, um, but I really prefer my hair highlighted. I feel like it fits me better than having just all dark hair. How do you stay fit? Well, um, I, I enjoy working out. I enjoy being out and about. I'm like, go, go, go all the time. I'm not, I don't have a television. That's number one. We don't own a TV set. So um, I'm not like sitting around very often. You know, I like I'll be on the computer, I'll be working, I'll watch some YouTube videos or something, but other than that, I'm on the go. And I work a lot, so I don't have a lot of time to be sitting around. Um, also, uh, like as for working out, um, I don't know, I just, I, I like weight lifting, like not like heavy weights, but I like weight training. Um, I don't do probably as much cardio as I should. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoy like weights, like I have dumbbells and we have like a, you know, workout equipment here. I do lots of crunches, I have like one of those exercise balls, those big like workout exercise balls. So I lay on that and do crunches all the time, like, um, like I was doing, I don't know, a, a few hundred crunches every night and I really enjoy that. It's like a, a fun activity for me, it's not like something that I, working out has never been something I feel that I have to do or need to do, it's something that I want to do. Uh, I think most of my being trim or in shape has to do with my diet and that is um, I don't eat meat. Uh, Michael is like full vegetarian, my husband. He doesn't eat eggs or he does eat dairy but not eggs. Like anything that's been alive, he doesn't eat. Um, and for me, I'm almost there. Like I, when I met him, he was vegetarian and I pretty much dropped all meat right then and there. And um, so I, I do still, I had a hard time letting go of seafood because I did really like that. Um, and once in a while I will have a little bit of like shrimp, like some kind of shrimp dish or shrimp salad. Um, but really that's it. Um, shrimp's the only thing I've hung on to. So I don't eat, I don't eat meat. Uh, I don't like flour. I'm always saying how I like, like there's the three white powders. There's flour, salt, sugar. Like those, if you can cut that stuff, not entirely from your diet, because of course that would be pretty much impossible, but if you can cut back on those things, that does a lot for you. I'm serious. Like any extra pounds or anything that you have will melt away. Um, and I, yeah, so like flour, like I don't like pasta. I don't like breads, like bagels, croissants, all that kind of stuff. I don't like... Um, yeah, I really don't like flour stuff, so like that whole pasta, spaghetti, all that stuff, ugh, I, I don't like it. I really would rather eat um, like fresh fruits and vegetables, like especially fruit. I eat a lot of fruit, and um, yeah, I think think that's pretty much it. I'm, oh, and the other thing is, is I don't... Like, I don't let stuff into the house. Like, of course I enjoy drinking Coca-Cola. Yes, I love that, but I only have that when I'm like out and about, or I'm eating out or something on the go. Uh, it's kind of like a nice treat to have, but I don't, I don't like buy cases of it. I don't let it into the house. Um, I try not to let, you know, junk food into the house, but I'll treat myself when I'm out and about or something. So I think that helps a lot, not having it around at all. So what is your eating regimen? And I think I already answered that. Lots of fresh fruit and vegetables. Um, and I don't like like packaged processed food. It's just crap. It doesn't do anything for your body except fill it with calories and fat and grease and really, I mean, if you were holding like, you know, a fresh bowl of strawberries versus like a bag of potato chips, like you know which one is healthy, you know which one is gonna do something for your body and which one's just gonna put fat on it, you know? Okay, next, were you born in Hawaii? No, I was not born in Hawaii, I was born in Gold Beach, Oregon. Where are you from? I am originally from Brookings, Oregon, and that is where I grew up. How did you make it in Hawaii? Okay, this is one of those kind of in-depth questions. It's not quite quick and straightforward. Um, how did I make it? I guess people mean like, how did I how did I get here on my own and survive and get a job and whatever? So okay, um, let me give you some background because it'll only make sense if I tell you what happened before. So. In Brookings, Oregon, I was in high school, it was my senior year, 
and um, I was, I, I had nothing, first of all. Um, yeah, my mom had an illness, she was gone, um, my, she was in like a, a home. Um, my dad didn't live with us for like many years, they were separated for many years, most of my life. Um, so I was sleeping on my best friend's couch, so basically when I say I had nothing, I seriously had nothing. I had like my school books and a little backpack of clothes and that's freaking it. Um, so I kind of just decided I was over it. I knew I could have finished high school, but I, it, the time was like right then and there. I had the opportunity. Um, I, had, I had been working at a restaurant, so I saved up a little money to buy a plane ticket to somewhere. And I decided, okay, I'm going to go to Hawaii. So I purchased a plane ticket, a round trip ticket to Maui, and I just never took the return flight. Um, so that's how I ended up here. And I guess uh, people want to know how I made it here, like what happened after I got here. Okay, so I, I let's see, I landed. Um, I got a ride over to Lahaina where my hotel was, and I stayed at a hotel for three days. And... As soon as I hit the ground here, I was networking, talking to as many people as I could, um, trying to make friends with as many people as I could, learning about the island, learning about um, you know places that, that maybe had work for me, just talking to every person that I could, and um, you know networking is huge, and it wasn't like I landed here and I was like, oh, I'm in La La Land, I'm on vacation, I'm in paradise, no. I hit the ground running, and that's what you have to do if you're gonna, if you're gonna move like I did, and you've got nothing to lose. You better dang well hit the ground running, because if you don't, you're just gonna flail, and that just, that just was unacceptable to me. I needed to make, I needed to make it happen, because no one else was gonna help me. It was all, on me, my survival. Oh, and I guess I should mention, after the three days of staying in the hotel in Lahaina, I met some friends on the third day. They had a house they were renting in Haiku, they needed a roommate, and well, they invited me to come be their roommate. And um, I guess they trusted me that I was I was going to be finding work even though I didn't have money to give them up front. And of course, I, I found work within that week, and uh, I started work at a surf shop. Um, I worked at a couple different surf shops for like five years, and... Um, that's it. <laughs> I just hit the ground running and work your butt off. Okay, I'm back. I had to take a quick intermission and go charge my camera because the battery was dying on me. Also, I realized I wasn't wearing any lipstick, so I put on my MAC Viva Glam 2 and MAC um, lip liner in strip down. So that's what I'm wearing right now. Okay, so let's get back to it. How did you start your businesses? So a lot of you already know if you watch me for a long time because I've mentioned it before. I used to own a swimwear, clubwear, lingerie company. That's where I got my username from, Pink So Foxy. My website was pinksofoxy.com. I had um, like a couple thousand products on the website, um, all swimwear, lingerie, clubwear. Um, so it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. I got to travel around. I went to trade shows, um, lingerie shows. It was a blast, and I had the best time running that website. and. Um, it was it was pretty successful until I just kind of a few years into it I just kind of started getting tired of it um, and websites are a lot of work especially when you have a lot of inventory so I just um, yeah I just got kind of burned out on it and so I just started turning my energy and my focus more towards my jewelry which I was doing at the same time and it was really difficult trying to upkeep with both so um, now I'm just full time jewelry designer. And how did I start my business? Well, uh, passion. Basically, you know, I can't really like answer this with a straightforward answer because for everyone it would be different, like how, how to go about starting your business. For me, it was just, uh, what do I like? What do I like to do? What do I love? What, do I, what am I passionate about? And just roll with it. Um, and also network, you know, uh, go to trade shows that have to do with your interests and things and you meet people, you talk to people, you learn how to do things, you start learning the ins and outs of the business, the industry, um, yeah, just network. Passion, number one, and networking, number two. Um, so that's, that's how I started mine. And I'm, like with the jewelry, I'm, I've just always been like crafty, so I, I really enjoy making things, so. 
Okay, people ask me, where do you buy your jewelry supplies? And I wish I could answer that, but you know what? Part of business is some things are proprietary, meaning you can't give everything away. Uh, so my husband and I decided a long time ago when we were first getting into business, and um, you know, I've been doing jewelry for, I don't know, like six years now, um, that we, we don't give all of our information away because you just, you can't do that. Um, so I, I hope you guys aren't upset that I can't tell you where I buy my supplies, but that's just how it is. Okay, next, how do you start a business? So I guess this is like, what advice do I have for people that want to start their own business? Okay, number one golden rule, be first, best, or different. Because you're going to have competition and you're going to need to set yourself apart from the competition. Um, start small, don't operate on debt, don't chase money, do something that you love, something that you're passionate about, and that's what's going to make you good at it. If you're trying to do something, if you're going against the grain, trying to do something that you're not really wholeheartedly in love with, you're, gonna, you're not going to be good at it, and so what's the point of that? And also, building a successful business is building good relationships, good relationships with your customers, good relationships with your vendors, your suppliers. Also, have a sharp mind. Keep your edge. Don't be in la-la land or what I call plain house. When money's involved, there are people out there that will try to take advantage of you, whether it's um, fraudsters, scam artists, whatever. You need to educate yourself on scams and be aware of this stuff. Now, the last things I want to say about starting and owning your own business is no one's going to be there to hold your hand. No one's going to be there to cut you a paycheck at the end of the week. You better be prepared to bust your butt. You can have anything you want as long as you're willing to work for it. Okay, next is regarding, let's see, when and how did I meet Michael? Okay, so I mentioned I was working at a surf shop and um, I had a friend who Michael was working with and they got rained out from work. They were doing, I think, construction, building a home in Haiku which is on Maui's North Shore, and so they got rained out, and my friend brought him into my work, um, and just he was just coming in to say hi, and that's the first time that I saw Michael and met him, and then, let's see, I think it was like a couple of nights later, we all, all three of us went out to dinner, and um, at a Mexican restaurant, and we just hit it off. So that's how we met, and pretty much from that day or that night on, we were inseparable together every day ever since. Um, and last of all, do you want kids? Uh, no. <laughs> um, I can definitely assure you, like people try to tell me, oh, you'll change your mind. Uh, well, let's see, I'm 30 now, and uh, no, not changing my mind. Both Michael and I have always agreed that neither of us are really... Um, that into the idea of being parents. Uh, we have our guinea pigs and we are quite happy with that and we won't, won't be changing our mind. Um, okay, so that's all of the questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.